have told y'all what was gonna happen when I put these settings on against any team. Y'all asked me to go against the Rockets and we dubbed them. What did I f***ing tell y'all, man? Y'all can't f***ing play with my f***ing settings, man. All right, I got the lockdown f***ing defense, bro. I got the lockdown defense. You cannot stop these settings. I told y'all. I got y'all. Y'all asked me to play against the Rockets and see how to use my settings. I did it, and I'm going to be showing you it today. Now, as you guys can see from the clip down below, that was at the end of the game when it was like 60-44. I was literally playing around with the dude the entire time. I think I do have the screenshots of what he shot from the field, like his field, his field, uh, his field goal percentage. But anyways, guys, I know you seen that I had that shit on clamps. Who was up? What it was about? I mean, basically up 20 points. I think I'm pretty sure I won by 20 points at the end of the game. But anyways, guys, let's jump right into the video. Before we get into the video, guys, make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe for more NBA 2K18 content, and let's jump right into this video. We are going to be going up against the Rockets. Now, this game, I already recorded like last week before I, I went out of town or whatever. So, this is basically like a reaction or me going over it and telling you guys like basically what I was doing. Like, what was my game plan coming in to the game or whatever. But anyways, I I'm not going to be focused too much on the offensive side because you guys were more focused on the defensive side. But if there's anything you guys need help with, leave it down in the comment section down below. If it's defensive settings, if it's offenses, if it's, you know, anything, anything you need, leave it down in the comments down below. I will, I will get back to you instantly. Uh, I did see two comments. There is uh, somebody asked for a video on the Trailblazers and another person asked for a video on the 76ers those two are coming up very very shortly most likely they will be uploaded right after this video either tomorrow or on sunday so be prepared for those also i probably will be dropping a couple fortnite videos because you know your boy been out there like just killing them but just like just I'm just I'm I don't know I don't know man I just been I really been doing everything right now man I'm really enjoying Fortnite and you know 2K 2K is kind of dead it ain't cutting it man I don't know but you know but I'll but I still play it I still play it from time to time I always hop in the leagues or I happen to play now a game you know because the shit is I mean it's 2K 2K will always be 2K you know it's just kind of dead right now but anyways guys let's jump right into this video now. I'm pretty sure I already have my setting. I'm gonna show you the settings as soon as they come out. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same settings that I used in the video that I told you guys. See, tight, tight. You got middle, go under, catch hedge, go under, catch hedge. Then, uh, you know, post, three half top. We uh, go under on the off ball. Okay. Switch guards, no help. And the other one I left on automatic because I didn't want them to help, but I at the same time, I don't want them not to help. Like when you put it on no help, you literally get no help from the computers. But make sure you guys go to that center, go to that four and five man, put your screen help rules and drive help rules to automatic. That way when you get into the game, you can shrink the floor. If you guys did not keep up with that, you already know that I already have a video on how to stop the Rockets, the actual defensive settings video. I will be leaving that in the link in this description down below so that you can guys can see it and kind of, uh, or you could just pause this video if you want so you don't have to jump from video to video. It's up to you. Like I really was only trying to play for the defense. And you see on, on, that, on that play right there, I should have uh, fouled him on that fast break instead of just letting him get the easy bucket. But I mean, it is early in the game, so I really wasn't worried about it too much. But, you know, later down in the game, if they're getting a lot of fast break points, the best thing to do is to foul. <laughs> He was getting a lot of easy buckets early. We wasn't. We wasn't. We wasn't playing too. Good. We wasn't playing good. We wasn't playing any defense at the beginning of the game.
As you can see here, this is when I went to shrink the floor and uh, play physical. Now that was honestly a really good defensive possession, man. That was a really good defensive possession. But they got bailed out with the uh, layup at the end. That's why I wasn't speaking right there because I had a feeling that some bullshit was going to go down. That honestly was a really good fucking closeout. But, you know, 2K be on that cheating shit. If you guys don't know how to close out, man, you got to use that right stick to close out. Do not close out with the Y button. Do not close out by jumping with the Y button. That is the worst way to close out possible because 2K will not recognize it as a close out. And they most likely will still either get open shots when you press Y or slightly, uh, slightly contested. But if you contest, that's how you get those heavily contested and smothered. Oh, as you can see, what I was doing the whole time, like right there, how I left PJ Tucker wide open, I was off balling on PJ Tucker because I told y'all in the previous defensive settings video, like the actual defensive settings video for this team, that PJ Tucker is not a fucking shooter. Like, leave him open. Like, I want PJ Tucker to, I want PJ Tucker to knock down 10 threes. If PJ Tucker knocks down 10 threes in a game, he deserved to win the game. You know that? Cause PJ Tucker is not a fucking shooter. He's he he, be, he better not ever drop 10 threes on me. But if he do, they deserve to win the game. He hey hey get hats off hats off to him. But I mean the I mean the Rockets do have a really good team though. You know you don't want to leave Chris Paul wide open. You don't want to leave Eric Gordon wide open. You don't want to leave James Harden wide open. You know you don't want to leave Clint Capella wide open. So when they have those bad matchups in the game or those players that you know are not as good as the others, like PJ Tucker, like leave him wide open, bro. Like I will literally probably even let him shoot a wide open mid range, like for real. At, look, look, you see me helping? You see me helping? I think that's Trevor Reza this time though. No, is that, no, that's Joe Johnson. No, that's Joe Johnson. My dumb ass. He thought shit was sweet. That's what it was. At the beginning of the game, we just have to give him a little taste, you know, make him think we he can hang in with us. That boy can't hang in with us. He can't fucking hang in with us. All right. Shit, these dudes are not good. Look at that. Look at that man-to-man -man defense with George Hill. Lock that shit up. Lock that shit up. Clamped up. Where are you going? <laughs> Look at the closeout. The bailouts, bro. Like that's such a bailout. Like, oh my god, y'all don't know how y'all don't know how mad that makes me. Like plays like that piss me off so much. It, like for real though. Like what else could I have done better? Oh yeah, send that double team. Run over the yeah. Clamp, clamp. Clamped, shoot it. That's what we want you to do. That's what we want you to do. Hey, get that rebound. It's too easy, man. Oh shit. Bad pass. We gave it right back to him. Well, you know we beat that shit. I don't even care about the foul. All right, Kevin. Kevin Love got back on defense. It's what we do. All right, strap up. Ain't nothing easy around here. I think this is when we started like we started clamping up. We are gonna start clamping up right here. Look. Ooh, come here. What are you doing? Where are you going? Clamped up. Oh, he got lucky. He got lucky. As you can see, look, we're shooting 81. He's shooting 57. I mean, 57 is pretty, actually pretty good. You don't want your... 
you never want your opponent to shoot over 50 percent from the field like that is the goal the goal honestly is to keep them below 40 like around 40 ish 35 ish to 40 ish Clamped up. Look at the shot he had to shoot. Look at the shot he had to shoot. Dang, I'm crying because I'm going to be retired, man. Dang. In situations like those, I should have just put my hands up. Look at that. That's what that tight, tight do right there. That's what that off ball tight do. You see that? You put off ball tight, play physical, you get steals like that. That's what that does. We'll get a close out. Look at the close out man good shit good close out run it up hey run it up hey run it up hey hey give me that that's how you sit in that passing lane you know i had to pause i'm had to flex on it real quick that's how you sit in that fucking passing lane man that nigga weak these rockets are weak every team in this game is weak once you put them defensive sends on them. once you clamp up real quick at half, I'm shooting 89%. He's shooting 50. Half time, bro. 89%. That's damn near 90% from the field, and I have almost 40 points. He's shooting 50. Now, I don't want him to be at 50. I want him to be below 50. You're always going to win games if they're below 50, unless you're down there with him. Oh, yeah, that's a good shot, but you know we had that closeout. See, if you would have pressed Y, it would have said open. I'm pretty sure it's, it at least said slightly uh, slightly contested. I'm, I'm almost 100% positive because this shot is kind of slow. That's why you contest with the right stick, the, this button. PlayStation is the same thing. Do not contest with the Y button. He gonna, hey, he gonna hit one though. I told y'all, PJ Tucker ain't no shooter, but he gonna hit one. I think he was like one for three from the game and one for four. Dude thought he was about to come back. I was trying to blow him out so bad, man. Like, I was trying to, I was literally rushing myself. Like, this dude is trash. Do I got LeBron at center right now? No, I don't. Usually I do that, though. Clamped up, manually clamped up with Kyle Corver. You're trash, bro. You're trash, bro. Honestly, that was a good shot, but you know, we had to close out. That was a really good shot. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Switch, switch. Switch, switch. You gotta have them fingers. You gotta have your fingers moving when you play these type of defenses, man. You gotta have your fingers moving. You gotta be able to switch to uh, different players on the court. And I think when I played this game, the latency was kind of late too. PJ Tucker is not a shooter. I told y'all this multiple times. PJ Tucker is not a shooter. Leave him wide open. You can help off of him. Honestly, guys, I really was just repeating those uh, same steps that I was doing that entire quarter. Like, obviously, I was coasting through the whole game. There was no time where I felt like he could actually beat me. I was coasting the whole time until I eventually ended up going up by 20 points or more. But anyways, if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comment section down below. I will get back to you instantly. That's going to do it for the video, guys. Make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe for more NBA 2K18 content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. She say, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. 50 dub. I even got it tatted on me. 81. They'll bring the crashers to the party. And you know me. Turn the O2 into the O3.